Situated on the beautiful island of Borneo Sabah is one of the 13 states which Malaysia is made of. Sabah shares the island of Borneo with Sarawak, Brunei and Indonesia, including the maritime border with the Philippines. Sabah is uniquely rich with nature and diversity. It is a continuous responsibility to ensure the stability and sustainability of this beautiful nature, people and the socio-economic activities including the maritime area. Malaysia conduct an exercise to access the concept of operations in ensuring our readiness in combating nuclear terrorism with maritime focus at Sabah's water. Royal Malaysia Police is committed in enhancement of strategies and initiatives to disrupt terrorist threat, particularly in Southeast Asian region. Counter-terrorism measures involve information sharing, protecting soft and hard targets, countering online radicalization, and managing the flow of foreign terrorist fighters. These efforts also include initiatives in addressing potential threats to nuclear security. The intelligence service receives an alert based on national analysis and cooperation with neighboring countries of the possible illicit movement of radioactive or nuclear material from a neighboring country to a local port on a local fishing boat within Sabah's maritime water. This is a Papa 38 or Roger. The ship is cruising legally through Malaysia's territorial waters. The ship is registered and flagged within the designated cruising area. At this stage, authorities do not know who is involved in the smuggling of the radioactive or nuclear material, the type and source of the radioactive or nuclear material, and intended purpose or use of the smuggled material. One, two, three, zero, hotel, out. Acting on the intelligence report, the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency, National Coast Guard is notified. So, dalam masa yang sama, tentukan manifest boat, uh, diperiksa dengan betul. Okay. Kita pun ada dapat maklumat, yeah. uh, ada lima uh, warga boat, uh, mungkin uh, kemungkinan uh, warga boat pun uh, tidak mungkin kenalan diri yang sama. Yeah. Intercepts the vessel and boards it five nautical miles from the port and takes control of the ship and the incorporative crew. Jalan, 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 jalan. The crew was requested to provide explanation and support documents on the suspected radioactive or nuclear materials carried on board. The captain and the crew refused to cooperate or answer questions, claiming that they are an innocent group of fishermen. The boarding party locates the ship's manifest, which appears to be improper and does not reflect the actual information aboard the vessel. Authorities detain the crew and search the vessel. They find one box of hidden fish container, suspected of containing radioactive or nuclear materials. Upon ensuring the stability of the ship, Royal Malaysian Customs provide further support for investigation of the reported good. On board the ship, the radiation detection pages carried by the customs authorities give an alarm with 10 micro sievert per hour. Customs and the Coast Guard authorities inform their command centers. The central authorities instruct the frontline officers to escort the ship to port. On scene, authorities request additional technical support assistance from the Atomic Energy Licensing Board, or AELB, as the national regulatory body for technical expertise and assistance on the suspected container containing radioactive or nuclear materials. Due to the sensitive nature of potential radioactive or nuclear material on the ship and the uncooperative crew, including two Green Notice crew members, Counter-Terrorism Division of the Royal Malaysian Police from the Special Branch are requested to provide additional security at the port.
The AELB requests support for air transportation to the distant port city. arrival at the port, the Coast Guard and Customs passes lead responsibility of the ship to police for further inspection of the goods on the vessel. The five crew members and the captain are of various nationalities. Of note, the two passengers were issued a green notice by Interpol last year, both having extensive criminal histories and suspected links to a terrorist group. The AELB's technical experts and a bomb disposal unit of the CBRNE team from the police conduct a search of the suspect vessel to ensure the safety from radiation hazards and the potential presence of explosive devices and further to secure the suspected materials. The technical experts were briefed. The AELB activates a team of technical experts to assess and verify the detection of radioactive or nuclear material. Upon confirmation on the safety from both radiological hazard and threats from explosive device, the forensic police pursue with the gathering of evidence to support the investigation. The investigation team from AELB confirmed the findings of special nuclear material and two gamma projectors stored in a fish container containing Iridium-192 with the estimated activity of 150 curie. Authorities on the scene develop a plan to transport the radioactive or nuclear material for safe and secure storage. Initial investigation by the National Police reveals that the crew of the fishing ship had intended to sell the radioactive or nuclear material at the maritime border between the country and a neighboring country to an unknown buyer. In interviews of the crew, one of the suspects confesses that the gamma projectors were stolen from a construction company truck. The suspect also confesses that the natural uranium was bought from a remote site through an intermediate sale by an unknown person. A national coordination meeting was conducted to address the detection that includes issues related to foreign suspects with links to terrorism and the management of evidences including the detected radioactive and nuclear material. Authorities also begin to pursue legal action against the five suspects of illicit trafficking of radioactive and nuclear material. As National Nuclear Regulatory Body, Responsible for ensuring safety, security and safeguard for nuclear application in Malaysia, the Atomic Energy Licensing Board stands committed 
to contribute towards national effort in combating nuclear terrorism.